Welcome back. I have a really fun segment. Uh, many, many years ago, it seemed like just yesterday, I interviewed a young man named Kyle Kirschbaum. This is he and I back a long time ago. I don't know if you can get this picture. Oh, there. Oh, well, Kyle is very famous because he is an expert in um, vacuum cleaners and has been an expert in vacuum cleaners since about the time he learned how to walk. Um, he captured national attention. Here he is on the Jay Leno program, the actual Tonight Show. He is with Jay Leno explaining just about everything there is to explain about vacuum cleaners. So then just before then, I met Kyle and went to his house. He lives in Michigan. And young Kyle explained all about the things that were great about vacuum cleaners, the things that were not so great. And I'm a person that really loves my vacuum cleaner, so I was totally into it. Kyle is now all grown up. Kyle Kirschbaum, everybody, is the vacuum cleaner kid. Is that what they called you? Yeah, the vacuum kid. The vacuum I'm kid. The vacuum and you kid. were... Back then, I mean, you got, you, how old were you were on The Tonight Show? I was 12 years old on The Tonight Show. 12 years old, and yeah. how old are you now? I am 19. 19 oh, years old, <laughs> and you've always, be, I mean, I was saying, when you were a little toddler, something about it caught your eye, and it just was like, you are go big or go home kind of guy. Yeah, people, you know, always ask, you know, what is it about the vacuum? I mean, why'd you like the vacuum? What uh -huh. was it about? I mean, I, I have no idea. It's been one of those things that stuck with me so long that, I mean, I don't even remember. Not loving vacuum I don't remember cleaners. not loving vacuum cleaners. I was saying, you would have been the perfect kid for my mother. She does, she loves vacuum cleaners, too. I have this picture here that Kyle brought in, and this is Kyle and I back in the day, right before Jay Leno, kind yeah. of getting you ready for Jay Leno. Right, really. yeah, that was 06. Um, <laughs> you had a basement full of the new, almost the oldest known vacuum cleaner ever made, and yeah, um, just everything. First two Ever, uh, ever made yes look at you so you've come a long way though you this the vacuum cleaner gig got you started in terms of you really knew how to be on TV you knew how to explain things you became an expert yeah it showed me how to you know be on camera and it's kind of weird that my passion for vacuum cleaners got me into the industry that I so want to be in <laughs> which is now now that you're 19 you're about ready to go off to college and yeah. but before that your summer job this summer is going to be what I actually just booked my first professional gig as a uh, theater I'm a big theater guy I've done probably almost 25 shows but I booked my first pay and pain gig you're getting paid to be on stage in what show all shook up all shook up and this year it's going to be in the Dayton area the Dayton area yep at the La Comedia Dinner Theater okay. I get to um, I get to be in the ensemble and I get to uh, understudy one of the lead characters um, in my first regional show that I've played two times before in the past so are you excited I'm so excited I can't wait all right so um, before we move on I just want to say the great thing about Kyle is what most kids should learn and that is he it wasn't easy to be the vacuum kid it wasn't in elementary school right no i mean kids you know poked fun at it especially once they found out i mean it was one of those things that everybody everybody right. talked about and jabbed about and vacuum kid and you know just a bunch of different names you know i mean but i was a little worried for you when i <laughs> met you i thought this kid is going to get eaten alive in junior high i was worried because Absolutely. kids can be mean but you are resilient, positive, and everyone loves you. I mean, explain how if, let's say, you're a kid now, and you're you know, 12 years old, and you're like, I just love socket wrenches. That's my thing. How do you tell that kid, it's okay, it's yeah, cool? if you love something so much, I mean, there's no reason you should let anybody get in the way of, of your passion or your hobby. Um, I mean, it can take you so far. I mean, just having a passion for something can you never know what it can develop into. For mine, it developed into getting on television, you know, getting in front of the right people and getting eventually into this industry that, you know, I like so much. And who knew that would come out of vacuum cleaners? And it was a passion <laughs> that I just stuck your with. Your passion is what got your people's attention. It, yeah. That you were 100% into this. And so many people are so kind of medium, I kind of like this. And your passion and knowledge yeah, and ability to share it was contagious for people. Absolutely, yeah. You so can't just go with the norm. Tease, what do you tell them? Kids are teased. You, you just you let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> okay. All right. So you still are the vacuum cleaner now, almost twenty year old. Yeah. You can't say kid anymore, right? <laughs> you are growing up. Um, Kyle is the same age as my kids, so I could still say kid, right? The vacuum kid. Okay. So we have some vacuum cleaners here, and you know they do start you know kind of doing a bad job yeah so what are some th simple things that we can do to get more life and more suck out of our vacuum so the, one of the main things i hear is well i bought this vacuum cleaner two or three years ago you know it was expensive i don't want to replace it yet it's you know it just doesn't suck like it used it to it sucks it's sucking it sucks it's <laughs> sucking <laughs> 
Um, and so, you know, your first thing is I'm going to take it and, and take yes. it, you know, to the repair shop. And you don't even need money. to. You don't right. need to. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that can, you know, that can turn into something that's, you know, 40, 60, 80 dollars, which is almost, you know, getting into the territory of replace it. Right. Right. So there's a couple of simple things. You know, the first thing you're going to want to do is if you have a bagged vacuum cleaner, you're going to want to check the bag. Uh, not all of them have a fill line, believe it or not. Oh, yeah? So if it says, you know, change uh -huh. when it gets to this line, you can ignore that. I always change it when it's below half. Below half of the bag? Yes. What happens when they're full? So you can lose suction when they're full, but you can also lose airflow. A lot of things, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, times people don't understand what airflow is. Mm -hmm. You need both when you're vacuuming. You need the flow of suction, uh -huh. and then you need airflow through the filter, through the motor. Okay. And if you don't have both, you're not going to create a vacuum. Right. Just, that's the name. I know. Okay, crazy. Okay, so get that bag switched out first. That might be your first thing to check. Yes. The okay. next thing is if it's not cleaning the carpet, right. you might need a new belt. A lot of times people don't know that a belt is 3 $4, and They're you can change nothing. it. Yeah, you can change it yourself. And if you smell burning rubber, this means your belt is melting in its holster, right? Exactly. That's the smell that tells yeah, that's you that's the, the that's problem. The smoke, that's the smoke <laughs> in the smell. A lot of people say, you know, black smoke shot out. Well, right. it's burning rubber. It's burning rubber. So the $4 belt is a heck of a lot better than doing $120. Right, and you get them at a department store, you know, just Absolutely. grocery shopping, you can get so a belt. So the belts, though, not too difficult to change. I mean, no, I've, just a couple of screws, three, four screws. You just pop this off, and you have access to a belt. You know, you pull this out. Out, clean your hair off right this now, belt comes right off and then you've got a new one so now let's talk about this you also enlightened me to the fact that take a look at the so we've got our suction figured out we've got the bag figured out but a lot of people don't realize the actual brushes that right yeah issue. these parts these parts wear yeah. these brushes they break down they fall off um, sections of them at times are missing so these are parts that can be replaced. A brush roll, you know, 20, 40 bucks is a lot better than, you know, a couple hundred dollars for a new vacuum cleaner. And look and see in there. I mean, I would have brought my vacuum cleaner from home, but I was horrified. <laughs> I thought I will be, it's disgusting. And it's the dog hair and all that stuff. You're just running the dog hair back right. over the carpet exactly. if you don't clean that brush. Yeah, it's so simple, you know, wipe it out. Pull, pull the parts that you can out, mm -hmm. wipe it out, clean it, wash it if you can. And just make sure that, you know, you, you're trying to clean your carpet, so you want right. to make sure that those debris are free. Out of there. Right. Out of there. So just turn that, to unplug it, turn that thing over, and really take a look at what's underneath there. Now, here's the other issue. This thing looks like the spaceship of vacuum cleaners, and we don't have some of the same parts if we have, and these are top of the line, right? I mean, you're right. paying a lot of money this for this stuff. This looks familiar to a lot of people, I'm sure, and one of the things they tell you is you empty it and you forget it. Right. Not not so much the case. Um, actually, believe it or not, this is this is a customer's machine, and it was brought to me because it's not sucking anymore. So and they paid all this money, and that British guy makes you believe <laughs> that you have the best thing ever. I've got the best Dyson in the whole world. Right. So even though you empty it, you can empty it, mm -hmm. but you also have a filter in here, mm -hmm. and that is what's going to help your airflow. You need airflow through the filter, and she didn't even know this compartment opened. And you've got a filter here. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the problem is, since this one, you yeah. know, is so old, it didn't get washed. You can wash these every six months. I say every three, just to make sure you're maintaining it. Mm -hmm. So this part, even though it needs to be replaced now, online. Online. Six dollars okay. for a new filter. Pop a new filter in there, and, and you're back in business. You're vacuum cleaners restored you can get a brand new filter and you don't have to spend five million dollars right you don't need to spend five million more dollars for another <laughs> vacuum now all right i know that your favorite thing was not so much these back in the day do you think these have gotten better um they've definitely improved them okay i personally still say no bagless you because, still want a bag See, right this is, i do you listen to this people i have thought i've taken your advice from back in 2006 because i was thinking well i'd like a vacuum cleaner that says i've arrived right and i thought it was one of these <laughs> but it's really you really like the bag i really do i mean if you buy a box of bags if you spend you know the money mm -hmm. on a bagless vacuum cleaner that's typically more expensive spend the same amount on a bagged vacuum cleaner, you're gonna get a box of bags that's gonna last you a year. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you don't have to change those filters as often. These are a lot more expensive and there's multiple of them because it's bagless. It's compensating for not having a bag. Right, so, so 
yeah, you just change the bag. A lot of times you just, you know, you buy two and three dollar filters for the bagged vacuum cleaner and you're set to go. What's your favorite brand? Used to be, I remember what you told me back then. Do you still have a favorite brand? I do. It's uh, Simplicity and Ricard. They're made in the Ricard. United States. Which made is, in the United States, Ricard. Yes. So if you can look for that, that that is the vacuum cleaner that the true person who really wants their house clean would yeah, go it's, for. Yeah, it's the one to get. And a lot of those even come with a lifetime belt and a filter that's you know replaced for you and it, it's it's so easy so, i mean vacuums are more advanced so yeah i would uh skip out on a couple of the bagless vacuums and i'd look for something that's more high-end bagged high-end bagged i'm telling you that sounds like you need to get arrested for her. she's <laughs> high-end bagged throw her in the clink <laughs> all right uh, when we come back kyle's favorite food mom told me is pizza and i'm going to share with you a recipe from one of my favorite uh cooking gurus her name is uh uh, well, Finity online. We're going to show you her website and show you this pizza that is gluten free, Kyle. What do you say? Ooh, I'll try it. <laughs> Don't go away. Okay, so we.